Hello and welcome to this uh, kind of urban sketch tutorial. Uh, it's a way of approaching and uh, I've seen it a lot on Pinterest or something and it's a nice way of drawing. Uh, you kind of uh, disregard the perspective and just uh, deform a little house that you uh, are interested in. Now I found this particular house on Pinterest and I thought this is a lovely uh, house with a little tower on the side to deform and uh, make a nice quick sketch about. So um, what I'm doing is I am, I'm uh, um, pushing together the, the ground floor tightly and then as the building moves upwards I uh, broaden it out make it bigger at the top than at the bottom and here you can see the side tower I'm blowing that up I'm just blowing that up because I love the detail of that little tower there and uh, you can see all kinds of ornaments and I'm not going to draw each and every ornament because um, well that's uh, not my purpose I just want to uh, deform this house and bring a little bit of liveliness and playfulness into this house so here is my tower and as you can see the tower is drawn in crooked and it's pointed uh, it's pointing in the right direction it's a lovely way of drawing and should you want to see the whole process of how to do this uh, with extra tips and tricks then you can find me on my patreon page where you uh, for little money you can draw along the whole drawing with me for just uh, a small amount of money the price of a cup of coffee maybe now here is the roof and the roof is pointing actually to the left side so that's a nice way of uh, approaching too and I love the ornament here all the way at the top and uh, there's a little triangle there that I want to save and there's a little window and uh, together it kind of uh, sh shaped like an arrow now so I love that I'm going to draw in that little window there and maybe imagine uh, imagining a little window below so I've stretched the window and uh, well I just don't care I'm drawing like I don't care I just want to get uh, an odd looking uh, little house uh, drawn uh, with my own imagination but I'm using the uh, the reference picture just for um, inspiration so this is the side of my house this is the left side <coughs> and some of the uh, ornaments I want to keep and these are the little uh, tiles that are uh, on the tower also I'm placing those on the house too and uh, this is a nice frame there's a nice frame on the house and I also want to keep that so this is the frame for the second floor so we have th three floors on this house there's the attic uh, there's the first floor and there's the ground floor so I will keep that in my drawing and there's a nice plant so uh, kind of a climbing plant uh, with the nice flowers I want to keep that of course and then here's the front door which is sitting uh, between two pillars and with the little little tiny windows in there 
and then I can see some stairs going down towards the street. And I also want to keep that in too. Now there are some little bushes there. Uh, it's a hedge, maybe boxes or something. And uh, there was no fence in the reference picture. And, but I've drawn in one anyway because I like that and that's also a nice uh, thing about uh, imagining your own uh, little house is just imagine a fence or imagine some trees just do whatever you want now partially I'm going to take uh, the brush pen strokes away because I want to place in the windows here for the rounded tower some windows there and um, what I also do I'm, I'm working with the light gray Tombow here that's a brush pen and I'm actually looking for a little bit of shadow so there are some shadow uh, in between the pillars on the front door but also on the stairs and I'm just imagining uh, a little street here in the front and I also put in a little bit of shadow in the underneath of the leaves for the trees that I've just made up just to get uh, that quirky feeling of uh, a very nice well maybe it's a fairy tale house now just want to uh, do my own thing with it now once you're happy with your first setup you can take a, a darker brush pen and then simply go over your own sketch and uh, bringing in dark detail will make your drawing pop out but just wait until you're happy with uh, the light sketch that you uh, made and some people <clears throat> some people first want to make a drawing with a graphite pencil of course um, well that's a possibility too then you can just erase the graphite but I think it's kind of charming to leave little um, uh, bad things in just leave them in and uh, just go around them draw around them and keep your drawing uh, as light as possible now I also want to bring in a little bit of color so uh, of course the climbing plant is uh, uh, a very nice detail to push in so I'm pushing in the pink and I'm also pushing in a little bit of brown in the front area and um, what I usually do is um, put in the most color in the front areas but uh, leave the harsh colors out in the background you will see as I continue this drawing now I like the the light pink in the house so I'm keeping that and this is a very light blue I use that a little bit for the windows or the lighter shadows and for the trees I just use a little bit of watercolor but I will leave the the trees in the background uh, as vague as possible so I get a little bit of atmospheric perspective there even though uh, it's an un impossible perspective but I love drawing around my little lines with the fine liner to make an illusion of uh, light coming from the back. I apply this a lot in my uh, sketches. I just love the effect. And you can also use the fine liner for instance for the little uh, wood, for the little windows. And then it looks like the light is coming from inside and then shining towards us. So this is a way of sketching and I hope you like it 
uh, should you want to see the whole process, of course, you can find me on Patreon with a lot and loads of tutorials for you to draw along with me. So, thank you for watching and hope to see you again soon here on the YouTube or on Patreon.